Right, I've just found these minutes from Lewis and Eastbourne Borough Council's agenda and minutes. 24th of March 2021, that's last year. It's pretty, pretty damning, I'd say, for the members of the council that failed me, like council, Councillor Stephen Holt. And I'm just about to forward an email to um, the current uh, chairman of the EHA, Christian Hater, who is also mentioned, as they mention homelessness and such. Uh, Yep, declaration of di disclosable. I can't even read that word. Uh, DP, DPIs by members as required under section 31 of the Localism Act and other interests as required for the Code of Conduct. Visiting member councillor Stephen Holt declared personal interests with dis transparency in following them as he was employed by your. Eastbourne BID Business Improvement District Item 1 Homelessness Placements into Eastbourne by Brighton and Hove City Council um, The night that I live streamed um, me being attacked in the property I left a voice message for him whilst the drunk, one of the drunk licensees threw my phone into the road and it shattered it's online and um, all I got was a text message from him but he wasn't even willing to listen to a uh, well I tried to get him to speak to my lady witness who was attacked in the street by random drunks for trying to help me as I said my lady witness had to go to the hospital the other day with a hernia she collapsed in public toilets. It just shows how much these people really care about any of us. But the fact that, wait till you see what it says about the hotels. The chairman to report any requests to the committee for a member of the public from a councillor in respect of an item listed below. Um, I'm keeping this. Uh, Chamber of Com Commerce. Representatives from Christian Hater, Vice Chair, who is now the Chairman of the EHA, Jane Cook, Health and Homelessness Advisor, Ministry of Housing, C Communities and Local Government, were all read out at the meeting. Visiting members, councillors huh, Alan Shuttleworth and Holt. Shuttleworth and Holt are addressed in, in the committee. Well, Alan Shuttleworth, um, he was Head of Housing Cabinet for Community and Stephen Holt took over as Cabinet for Community. His face was on a leaflet in the property. Um, but as I said, this is going to blow up in their faces because the Riverbourne House, where I've recorded elderly neighbours complaining, they are homes first, so am I. And... Uh, well just look out is all I can say look out um, because they've been trying to cover up everything I've been complaining about the chair provided background to the reason for this item being called to the committee thank to those who were in attendance and outlined the format for the meeting in order in which those present to speak invited uh, excuse me members Uh, Christine, uh, uh, he invited members of the public who attended as public speakers to speak first. Oh, well, I would like to have been there. I tried to speak out at the Eastbourne People's Assembly and I got bullied by the, uh, was it the secretary, uh, the organiser's husband, Brian, but uh, I was there in 2016 when I spoke out in front of David Tutt and Councillor Alan Shuttleworth. Councillor Alan Shuttleworth just said, I'm not a... <sighs> Teaching's my profession. They have a duty to stop and correct. And they failed, just as in the same way that Councillor Robin Maxted has very, very seriously failed me for a second time. Uh, they get paid, uh, to, and they failed me as a vulnerable constituent. They failed to stop and correct. Uh, under common law the living these are the living men and women and not the legal fiction and they have very seriously failed me 
very seriously. And Josh Babarindi, who wants to take over from Caroline Ansel. Caroline Ansel is a patron of the EHA. They're doing everything they can to cover up the corruption. Uh, wait till you see what it says down here, though. Um, the following concerns were expressed by Christina U Eubank, Chief Executive Eastbourne Chamber of Commerce. The impact from use of hotels, which is what I'm doing, for example, a hotel in Eastbourne Town Centre had increased its accommodation capacity and was operating more as a house of multiple occupation incidents of drug misuse, criminality and antisocial behaviour had increased locally to the hotel unchecked, which had impacted on Chamber of Commerce members, residents and business. Employment was also at risk. That is why, and I've got the old reference number with the local government ombudsman, for when I was beaten by the police <laughs> and then by nursing assistants and then trafficked to that dangerous property that I'm keeping away from for my safety. When I had been self-funding in another one of these hotels that had been mentioned in the local Herald when pe homeless people were being sent from East um, Hastings to the Citrus Hotel. And I too have been mentioned twice in the Herald once when I was reported missing by the police, when I slept rough, oh, I could go on forever, in a field near my mother's ashes, when I had been trafficked. And uh, a second mention, uh, which I'm trying to, I want to sue the, the, the Herald for libel, um, because this is what they, I, I've also gone to the legal ombudsman over a corrupt, um, yeah, well, anyway, we'll just say a corrupt solicitor. So, yeah, many of the individuals placed in Eastbourne had high complex needs. There you go. As Tina Chave said, we should not be placed in temporary accommodations if we have complex needs. They were not dedicated to emergency accommodation. The number of placements had escalated. A number of those placed at Eastbourne had been identified with previous criminality and antisocial behaviour in Brighton and... And hove. The number of placements had escalated. I haven't got many. I've only got 38 seconds left. But there you go. There you go. Christian Hater, Vice Chair, also raised the following points. There's a lot here. There's a lot here. There you go. 12th of July 2021, around the time that I was fraudulently mentioned in the Herald, which I could sue for libel because I was here self-funding for my safety. There you go.